So every year, we have a tradition of traveling for Chris's birthday. Your girl's finally in her 20s. Hey. <laughs> Let's go explore Portland. Hey. You know we're always hungry, so of course we had to do brunch. I had some huevos rancheros and my favorite part was having the shrimps on top. It was really fresh. I had eggs benedict and they were pretty good. My favorite part was the mimosa. Oh my Look God. at the size of that glass. We are boozy all day. And then I suggested going to the Victoria <laughs> Mansion, which wasn't necessarily a great investment of our money. Honestly, we thought it was a little underwhelming. Extravagant kind of. But it's just one of those things I guess you could just say you went to because it's made. And then it was time for my birthday dinner. I had a really good lobster. Honestly guys, you have to check out this place. It's really good and the stuff is so nice. So day two was our official exploration time. It was really cold in Maine, so we had to cab it almost everywhere. So food, brewery tours, beer tasting, shopping. Everything Maine, you name it. We did it. One of the things that you have to keep in mind when visiting Portland is that most restaurants and shops close early in the winter because it's more of a seasonal town. For example, the Museum of Art and the State Theater were closed for the whole season. So you definitely just have to keep in mind that summer and spring are the best time to go there. For sure. So our favorite thing to do when we travel somewhere new is to explore the local scene. So go to coffee shops, see what the people are working on, ask about their recommendations, and really just get a feel for what it's like to live there. Housing in Portland is a little more affordable than in New York, which is no surprise, but it's also really small. They have about 65,000 people live there, so there's a real sense of community. Take it from me, you have to visit the Bar of Chocolate if you're in Portland. They have alcohol infused desserts, but beware, they're very delicious, but the dose is really strong. So Chris, what was your favorite part of the trip? I think it has to be on the second day. We were strolling downtown and for some reason I really felt at home. And the second one is, I think being boozy at the hotel every night. Oh yeah, that girl. was really fun. For me, I would say just getting to talk to the people. We met some guys there too and they were really nice. Um, Portland is lovely and I definitely want to come back in the summer. Me too. Thanks for sticking with us guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Like. And let us know um, where you're planning to travel. Bye guys.